Former Super Eagles captain Kanu Nwako has asked government to prioritize sports through provision of modern infrastructure and investment in developmental initiatives. The football legend said the nation can attain significant economic growth if desired development in sport is achieved with talent and opportunities in the sector. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the Green Spring Kanu football camp holding in Lagos, the ex-international stated that sports, especially football, has become a a tool to empower the youth. The football camp designed to groom educated champions has produced players that are representing Nigeria's junior national team while combining academics with sports. Since the inception of the camp, 11 scholars have benefited from the educational scholarship. While some of them are still in school, others are playing professional football with clubs in Nigeria and Europe. The achievement is great and like you rightly said, uh, most of them I didn't believe that they're going to make it or be part of what we are doing here. But thank God that um, a lot of them achieved. I got a, lot of, a lot of them are um, playing the, um, in the top clubs and some on the national team. And um, knowing that uh, here is open for everyone, whoever can make it can make it, I pray. And I wish and I know it's going to keep on happening. Kanu commended the organizers for sustaining the initiative, which has impacted positively on the youth and football development in the country, urging corporate organizations to support the initiative. The annual camp could not hold in the last two years following the outbreak of COVID. Coaches from Netherlands expressed excitement with the return of the initiative, which also empowers grassroots coaches from the Lagos State Football Association. Foreign coaches and the other coaches, what happens invariably is that they bring the skills they've learned to our own camp here. And more importantly, it goes beyond just the training in this camp. When we train Lagos State coaches, like we said, I've trained about 200 coaches so far. For this last um, weekend, we trained about 40 coaches. So what happens, apart from those that do not make it to this camp, the others end up training people within their own communities because an average coach that comes for those training sessions, they have a community which they already coach students in. Every time we've been here, uh, it will be better every year. Also the, the coaches, if we help the coaches how we train in Europe and how we train at the Dutch Vision, um, yeah, then we make uh, make them proud and we make, make them better. And if the Nigerian coaches be better, the, 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 the kids they play here uh, they even more better. They really need this support, get their partners, with more developed ways of coaching, rub shoulders with them. This will bring them to the next level and this will, in effect, have a very, very big impact in the future of our football. Over 200 participants drawn from schools and states across the country are participating in the four-day soccer camp for children between the ages of 5 and 17. The GKFC 2023 will end on Thursday.